Howdy folks, it's the Scumbag Flanders coming at you with a video response to Mamisu and Ramen Gaijin's uh, recent uh, Battle of the Sexes video kind of thing. Uh, I'm here at uh, my local park, I'm supposed to do some reading. just not inspired to read at the moment so I thought I'd flap my gums a bit right let's jump into it let's see uh, what was the first thing why do guys like to sit around and watch TV I don't um, man yeah there's a lot of people to do I guess uh, there's a lot of girls that do it too. I don't think that's a, a gender specific phenomenon. Um, I don't know. I, I have this thing I think uh, like I see on a, uh, on the internet you know like Facebook whatever there's a lot of friends I have that are always constantly updating their stuff saying well today was a productive day. I did paperwork. I did this and I got a contract signed and I showed three houses and took my kids to karate and bathed the dog made dinner you know built an ark and then uh, and then you hear people same times oh today was such a waste I didn't get to do anything I planned to do I was so lazy blah 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 but dang, you know, that's like a lot of pressure you put on yourself. It's like, if you got nothing going on, you know, if you have no plans, no goals or anything that you're, you know, want to accomplish in a day, you know, let's, don't be so hard on yourself. Don't beat yourself up by not doing anything, you know. Why not watch TV or lounge around and take an extra few hours, you know, to wake up or whatever you know it's like life is it's easy man just don't beat yourself up about it but whatever uh, you know some people just can't sit still I, to me you know, I like I have a lot of free time and I should be fluent in Japanese by now but I think I'd rather just space out and stare at a wall than do something I don't know that's just then I feel guilty afterwards and I don't know Anyway, so let's see what else. Uh, why do guys have a lot of girlfriends or want a lot of girls? Uh, man, that's you made a good point. Uh, I think it, it's a lot, and this is like a maybe it's becoming global, but for the most part, it's starting in America, so it's an American phenomenon, sort of. Uh, we're in Hollywood. And the videos and stuff yeah you got one guy or a small group of guys and got girls is everywhere all kinds of girls is half naked whatever attractive girls doing what attractive girls do and uh, you know so maybe in a way that's sort of brainwashing and, and uh, people think that you know, that's that's what life is supposed to be you get as many girls as you want uh, Also, yeah, you know, I don't know, just, it's, it's really different. There's some guys that, you know, they just want the one girl, and, and that's more than enough. And others, they just, they like, they may completely be in love with one girl, and she satisfies damn near every need he could possibly have, but, uh, except for maybe one or two things that, you know, he's got to go out and screw around and you know it's usually probably a sexual thing you know uh, the other girls uh, emotionally and everything perfect cooks dinner or whatever but maybe she's just a little too conservative in the bedroom so the fella has to go out and get his freak on I guess um, I don't know I had a good friend uh, he uh, he always had the one girl that you know I mean he'll 
confess all day long how much he loves her, and then, uh, but yet, you know, he'll go out on secret dates with other people, and I guess, you know, they'd provide a different, uh, need, uh, for him, uh, fill a different niche, uh, you know, but I personally couldn't do that, even though it sounds pretty ideal, you know, have a variety of, of the ladies, but emotionally and logistically, I just, I'm just not mentally capable of handling multiple partner relationship. I would just screw it up and get myself shot or something. But you know, girls do it too. It's not just guys and there'll be girls uh, leading on a bunch of, a bunch of fellas and I don't know. It's just the really, uh, it's a big differences in sex, the sex thinking that, uh, uh, I guess makes for good videos like this. Uh, moving on to the, uh, what was the next one? Uh, oh yeah, yeah, the boobs and dicks. Uh, <laughs> yeah, you know, well, here we go. I think this is mostly the Western, uh, media influence on the rest of the world, um, where you got videos, magazines, movies, where they all show women, beautiful women in wonderful clothing and jewelry and beautiful lighting and, you know, showing off the ideal beautiful body, uh, you know, it's just, it's in our face all the time, and, uh, so yeah, I, in, a, in a way I agree, you know, even though in most places it's illegal, uh, you know, for anybody to walk around, like, naked, you know, completely naked, um, but yeah, it would totally be more acceptable and less offensive for a, a woman to walk around naked than a guy, because you got, you know, like I said, you see a naked woman, especially if she's super attractive, you're just going to be like, okay, well, it's mostly good things, you think about, okay, well, let's just say she's like some, you know, 40-year-old mom or something, you know, then you think, well, okay, yeah, she's naked, but, well, you know, it's, she looks like a mom. Uh, everybody loves her mother. And let's say she's this hot 20-something, you know, banging body badass walking around, and you're like, hey, yeah, all right. Oh, shit, you know, someone's got to be naked, might as well be her, you know. But then you, you switch it and, uh, you know, put a guy in that spot. You know, unless he's like some ripping, muscle, freaking surfing, you know, underwear model type fella, you know. Otherwise, bad things just get conjured up. It's all rapists and fucking pedophile and uh, pervert and scumbag, whatever. So, you know, guys just can't get away with it. And I don't know why, you know. It's, uh, not that I would have any ambitions to do this, but, uh, like, uh, I guess, you know, women, you know, boobs are out there. They're nice, but they're nice and round and soft and, and very pleasurable to look at and all that. But, you know, then you got a guy really has nothing much but, you know, his junk. But, you know, you got a guy walk around with his junk flopping around, you know, that's just, that's just nothing anybody wants to see. Yeah, at all. But I wonder, though, you know, uh, you have, uh, this is all, like, you know, basic human, you know, deep down human conditioning and, and uh, instinct and, uh, I can't think of the words, but, uh, but essentially, you know, you have... You know, men are visual. There's no secret there. That's why, you know, even if you're a woman, you know, you're being bombarded by images of other women, you know, looking good, looking bad, whatever. But, you know, women are just constantly shoved down everybody's throat because that's sex and advertising. That's what sells. So, uh, you know, so yeah, guys are constantly having this visual stimulus of beautiful women everywhere. So... So yeah, you know, girls, you know, they, they know this, 
So that's why they dress the way they do. And we all know this is this is no secret. Everybody knows the answer to this. You know, if a girl and the girls should not have a damn word to say because if a girl shows wears a, a, a top where it's nothing but hooters, it's hooterific, hooter everywhere, boobs all over the place. Uh, and you know, and then they get all upset because guys can't look them in the eye when they're talking. You know, they should just shut shut the hell up because yes, their goal is for attention and by god they're getting it you know you can't have your cake and eat it too so quit your bitching you got the guy he's talking to you that's what you wanted sure he's looking at your breasts but uh you know you're asking for it that's all i'm saying you're just you're asking for it so don't say a word and just you know laugh at it you know because it's funny you know it's like why can't we not help it you know this is where it's embarrassing, really, but, uh, anyway, so, uh, you know, I guess girls, you know, on the other hand, would not be, uh, all that, uh, impressed to see a, uh, a fella walk around with his junk out, especially if it's, you know, not as big as the next one or whatever, or, or the biggest they've ever seen, or impre most impressive that they've ever seen, um, You know, I, I'm sure girls would be like, oh, it's gross, who wants to look at that, you know? Uh, uh, you know, because it's, it's really nothing that they look at other than while they're having sex. And, and then, but then, you know, you're all worked up and hot and bothered, so yeah, you're all about it. But, you know, no one, you never see girls with uh, pictures of schlongs in uh, their purses and on the wall or whatever, you know, it's just... It's a tool. It's nothing really to, to, to be behold, you know, spectacular. Wow. Uh, so it just doesn't work that way. Girls just aren't aren't mentally wired that way. They don't care. Although you know they'll go on and on about muscles and, and uh, abs and all that stuff, and that's kind of odd to me because that's a visual thing, I guess. Uh, yeah, you know, it's just double standard, and that's what kind of pisses me off, really, because. You got girls, you know, it's okay, yeah, they can go and they can touch, you know, like, you know, where you're wearing a tight shirt and you're ripping and stuff, you know, and they, oh, wow, you know, they can go ahead and touch your, your chest and touch your abs and grab on your arms and stuff, you know. Oh, but heaven forbid, you know, a guy barely looks at you because you have a low-cut shirt on, you know, and he looks into your cleavage. Oh, no, you know, that's it. You're fucking perverts and rapists scumbags you know that double standard but you know that's just the way we're wired you know so girls take advantage of that and that's just like uh you know you're trying to make a um what's it called uh, uh an example in a uh, nudie bar you know you got girls in there you know they're showing off what they got and, it, and it's really they're just taking advantage of uh an evolutionary uh downfall to us you know uh, men you know are visual and so you got to half make a girl yeah there's not much to the imagination but you know you still want to take it further okay okay you're looking at her she's beautiful well let's take it further you know i'd love to you know go all the way and have go ahead and you know copulate but uh you're gonna you know most you legally can do is just have her dance in front of you well, that's pretty good too so but you want that extra more, and so it costs money. So this girl's using her physical attributes to drain your wallet. You know, I mean, what more of a scam is there than that? You know, and and, and women complain about not having any uh, equal rights and whatnot. That's bullshit. You know, they they have all the power if they wanted to. On a good portion of, of population. Anyway, so let's see. Yeah, there's a lot to talk about on that old thing, but uh, I don't know. It's uh, it just kind of leads me to think how like there's a lot of girls I know now that are where at least especially like maybe a year ago it was really ultra hip in the circles I run into run with. Uh, 
and I think somewhat on even still on TV is bisexuality for women. You know, it's like the ultra, ultra hip thing to do. You know, everybody's oh you're cool if you make out with women but sleep with men or whatever. You uh, you know, you're more desirable or something. But um, but I think you know that's also Western Western uh, culture's fault. Uh, you know, because it's been coming out in the movies and in things, you know, where women on women, you know, soft core stuff, you know, is, is becoming popular. And, and then even on regular TV, it's, it's, it's getting, you know, to where it's okay, you know, it's being accepted. So, um, you know, uh, it's just sort of a evolution to where, you know, like we, we fool ourselves and we try to make ourselves think that, uh, sex as we do it now compared to when we were like living in caves and hunting saber tooth tigers and whatnot and wearing skins on our backs um it's no different you know uh, it's just we've we're now we're fooling ourselves into uh thinking it's any different but it's all the mechanisms are the same you know you have the attraction you got you got the uh, the, the song and dance that we all do you know uh to attract each other and you know sex is sex it's just nothing's changed and still done the same way uh, but we fool ourselves into thinking that oh well you know we're no we're much better than you know these two cats in heat over here uh, you ever seen a cat in heat a female cat oh my god those little fuckers turn into like complete rapists they'll do anything freaking hump offer their cells up to a freaking tree <clears throat> little horny little bastards but anyway so you know I guess no human wants to think of themselves as uh, losing control like that uh, and being uh, so so at the mercy of your uh, instincts and your, your, your desires that you know you can't function, you know, and you're just, as, you'll give it up to anything, you know, no one wants to be that powerless over themselves, so we try to put up this thing that, oh, we're, you know, uh, we're so much more evolved than animals, you know, we don't fall into those trappings anymore, but, you know, you think about it, uh, everybody's done it, I guarantee you, you know, you've been somewhat horny or, or turned on and, you know maybe not have made the best decision ever to do whatever and then you know you bust that nut then that's uh after that feeling washes away then you're sort of left there in your own filth and funk going damn what the hell did i just do nah whatever uh so it's not really a man versus woman thing. This is just a human thing, and we all have our our, our angles, I guess. You know, women are they need a certain thing for from guys, uh, and it's all like even, whether they think about it or not. You know, this is all about like their children. Okay, like the end all goal is to have babies. You know, so so the woman's gonna want to pick a guy that's healthy, you know, physically attractive to make physically attractive kids, and then, you know, with brains, so that he'll be around, stick around to take, help take care of her, take care of the kids, etc., etc., you know, guys, you know, I guess just, just the way it is, just the way it's built, you know, we, we don't really have that wiring in our heads where, because, you know, women or whatever, they, uh, can only have uh, children at certain times, you know, uh, that one special time a month, and then, uh, you know, guys, though, you know, we have no restriction, we can, we'll knock her up, and then we can go knock her up, go over here and knock her up, you know, we can spread our seed, you know, wherever we want, uh, and then, uh, you know, that's just the way it is, it's the way it's got to be, because it's the way it was back in the old days, you know, and and, uh, 
you know, because we got to make babies and procreate and, you know, let, let the human race live on. Uh, but unfortunately, you know, the ladies, you know, they got to take care of the kids and, and uh, rear them and uh, make sure that they, they make it. So, you know, it's, it's a different set of criteria that each one of us is uh, thinking about when we're turned on or minded to have the sex with somebody. So, and let's face it, man, there's some people who really don't need to be having babies and sex and stuff. Like, like it's perfect, the perfect uh, thing visually uh, that you could that I can cite as an example is uh, the movie Idioc Idiocracy. There's a whole part in there where they talk about how uh, intellectual people basically, uh, you know, oh, we're not ready to have children yet. We're going to wait until we're professionally sound and financially sound and, you know, to bring a, a child proper into this world. And then you have, like, these poor, trashy people, um, you know, who, like, you know, are having sex left and right, and they're out, what do you call it, out, uh, breeding, you know, the smart ones, and, you know, so, uh, they're dumbing down the, uh, the, uh, the species, you know, um, they may be, like, physically, you know, strong and ideal, but mentally their brains are, are very diminished and whatever, whatnot. Anyways, that's a whole freaking another set of videos there but uh let's see what else but yeah no one wants to see a naked guy running around no matter what he looks like you know, I don't need to see no junk flopping around and stuff I don't know why it just is it is offensive right uh I'm sure there's a small group of females out there that be oh hell yeah let's see let's see the stuff come on boys what you working with uh but i think for the most part no one nobody can, you know can you imagine sitting on the bus next to you and there's some guy with his balls on the seat and over there's another guy you know his balls everywhere and then you, you gotta wonder you're sitting there and you're like you know whose sweaty balls were in this seat? you know about a woman huh that's what's different story that's okay uh, I remember in Amsterdam in the Netherlands you know walking around they had a uh, uh, I forget what the shampoo uh, company was I think it was pert uh, but you know who cares it, it, it was an advertisement on the sidewalk not even near the red light district uh, of a naked woman I mean it wasn't like a, a perfect crystal clear picture it was, she was obviously behind a uh, a frosted glass uh, you know, with steam and, and uh, water particle particles, but I mean, you could see nipple, you could see a breast, nice tone midsection, you know, and obviously an attractive girl selling shampoo. So that's perfectly ac acceptable, but you'd never see a guy, maybe you know, <clears throat> from the belly button up, maybe, but uh, but you'll never see him, you know, with behind a frosted glass with, you know, where you can make out his franken beans, you know, that's just not going to happen, because um, no one cares, no one wants to see that, so, whatever, uh, I think that's about it, yeah, so, in short, yeah, some people are ambitious, some people are, aren't, but I don't think it's a big deal either way, unless it just bothers you. But see, that's the thing. It's like that's the kind of people. I, I'm, what I'm getting at, or what I'm getting, or what I'm seeing is is uh, the stuff that is being complained about is are are things that you don't like about the people that maybe you date. Uh, and so, like, I guess you maybe had a lot of boyfriends that, uh, you know, were just kind of lazy and stuff, but it's funny, people like what they like, and I guess you're always going to pick uh, people who are similar, you know, uh, even though, like, you say, oh, I'm tired of dating the same loser over and over again, you know, he's the same, same guy, does the same shit, you know, you're constantly picking these guys because there's something about him that you like, you know, so maybe... 
you'll get one is worse than the other, but at the same time, you just got to be like, well, uh, that's what I like, so I guess I just bite my tongue and deal with it, but, uh, so, you know, you got some guys that just are happy to chill on the couch and watch TV, but they got nothing else going on, but as long as they're taking care of their bare minimum, paying their bills, and take, you know, taking care of you and stuff, then, you know, that should be enough. Uh, what else? Uh, so yeah, if you're gonna wear low-cut cleavage revealing shirts, then uh, do not complain when guys can't look you in the eye or in the face or make comments or whatever. You're, you know, you're asking for it. You know, just got grow grow thick skin and just just take it. And then uh, you know, because you you want to attract attention and that's what you're doing. So that's what you're getting. Uh, you can't always pick the exact attention that you're going to get, you know, that you can't pick it, you know, you just got to take it as it comes, and good luck with that and all that, uh, so naked women good, naked guys bad, that'll probably never change, and, uh, that's about it, I guess, so this is the uh, Scumbag Flanders, gonna try to read my book for a minute, and I will wrap at you later. Juice.